So in the previous video, I showed how to set up the basic Cortex for our VEX here with the battery, the USB-C, uh, and the motor setup. In this video, I'm going to talk about the two different types of swim switches we have. We have the limit switch uh, that we can use in the machinery to make contact, and then we have our bump switch, which is the activated. This is the new uh, version 2 of the V5 bump switches here. Now, on these, you're going to see on the Cortex, these are three wire switches, so we can see those three prongs on each of the ends. And what we're going to do is you have your ports here, which is hard to see on our camera, but they're labeled with our alpha. So we're just going to start with our A right here, and we're going to wire in our first one, making sure it's pushed all the way in. And then we're going to move to our limit switch, which is our B, and we're going to push that all the way in. So we can see that I have those switches now set up. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our motor sensor setup. So I'm going to shrink this down right here. We're going to add a device. Now, these are under our three wire devices here. So you're going to see that we have our bump switch. Uh, I put my bump switch, we can see here, in port A. Done. I can add a device again, three wire. I'm going to go to my limit switch. I put that in port B. Done. Now what you're going to see underneath our sensing, we have all of this that pops up. I already have my motor in there from the previous program. So on this simple program, I'm just going to come and show you when bump switch A is pressed, limit switch B. The reason the A and B are there, it signifies which port they're in. If A is pressed, I'm going to uh, run that motor forward. And if B is pressed, which is that limit switch, I'm going to stop that uh, motor. So I'm going to bring this back up so we can see. I'm going to download my program here. I'm going to click run. We can see nothing is occurring, but as soon as I press that bump switch, that motor is activated. Now that I press my limit switch, it will turn off. So that motor is being taken or controlled by those uh, switches now.